First time watching Avatar The Legend of Korra, book three, chapter six, episode six, uh, called Old Wounds. Oh, I think I might know what this might be about. Lin Beifong and Toph Beifong, basically the Beifong family, since we met them in the last one in the Metal Clan. Anyways, before we get into it though, I have a question to ask you guys, which I need you to answer in the comments down below, okay? Do it! How are you all doing? I hope you're doing good. If you are, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not, let me know that as well. Share your pain with me, man. Let's all be there for each other. I'm doing good too, by the way. My name's Afan. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel! Anyways, let's jump into the episode, though. Without any further ado, here we go. Now, serious, please let me know if you're going through something, you know? I don't mind at all. If you want to have a private conversation, my Instagram's right there. Slide into them DMs, boy. <laughs> Who Cora met Opal, a new airbender whose mother is Lin's estranged half sister. Su Yin and her daughter welcomed Lin with open arms, but she wanted nothing to do with it. Mm hmm. Elsa here infiltrated air. All right. Boltsky was there. Escape and is now a wanted man in Republic City. Republic City. All right, let's do this. Metal Clan. Yep. All right, cool. There's definitely going to be dealing with the Beifong family, which I'm all for. I know she has a problem with me, but she had no right to yell at Opal last night. All set for your power disc game today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be much competition since I can't metal bend. Lin never offered to train you. Nope, not because hmm. I was learning. There was the pro bending, then I got tied up fighting the equalist. It was a busy few months. Yeah, she basically summed up book one right there. <laughs> As the avatar, you should have mastery over all the elements. I'd be happy to show you the basics. Really? Wait, so that means she hasn't mastered earth bending. Uh, nah, I'm more of an earth guy. That's what it is. Some light gravel, that's, that's kind of where my heart is. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Metal bending is part of earth bending, right? A magnet. Is it Varric? It's Varric, of course it is. Magnet suit test successful. Power down. <laughs> On to phase two. Julie cleans up this mess. <laughs> oh, Julie. <laughs> I hope she's getting paid enough. If you don't deal with your repressed feelings, there will be severe consequences to your health. I'm not yeah. interested in talking about my feelings. I know a great acupuncturist in town who will be able to help you. Come on, Lane. Hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> she's considering it. The cops are swarming the city looking for us. We leave to- Is that a cross on his head? I just made my last delivery. We don't want money. On the car? These memories can sometimes be difficult to process. Buried memories. Mm-hmm. That one did the trick. There it is. They're my friends, and you have no right to call them that. I have so much potential. You're ruining your life. At least I have a life. Okay. She's changed quite a bit, huh, Sue? It's amazing. And I was going to say that Sue has definitely taken after her father because Lynn is definitely tough. But after seeing that scene, I'm not so sure. <laughs> what are you doing? He wants to learn metal bending. Try to focus on the fine pieces of earth within the metal. That's what Toph said to do, didn't she? I'm metal bending. Wow. You picked that up really, really quick. Yeah. You're that one in a hundred. You could be that one in a hundred too. Bolin, you wanna give it a go? It's uh, her friends, Sue's friends. Yep. Sue? <gasps> Wait! Leaving in the middle of a session could make you sick. Come on, Lynn. Are you gonna stay in your room feeling sorry for yourself all day? Wow. Are you okay? You don't look good. I'm fine. Clearly not. Don't even think about taking one more step! That's that mark. Good afternoon. Wow, people can really change her. Huh? Well, I mean, she's a kid, a teenager in that, I, I think. Thought you said you had a delivery. I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. Oh, lovely. Leave him! Check the truck, man! 
Whoa, hold on. The the girl with no arms is driving. <laughs> She's water bending it. Mm -mm. It's not about strength. My mom grew up learning from Toph. Just go train with her. Stop being so scared. I know that you want to go to the Northern Air Temple to train with Tenzin. But you haven't done it because you're afraid too. You're right. I don't want to leave my family and disappoint my mom. Look at us. <laughs> Supporting each other. It's nice. Mm, yeah, it is. It's nice to have a uh, shoulder to cry on. Or lean on. I don't always have to cry. <laughs> what were you thinking? Tough. What were you thinking? Tough. You two have put me. She's the one who was running around with criminals. All right, enough. Here's what we're going to do. Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. You'll go stay with your grandparents. Give me the arrest report. Grandpa. Her parents? You're going to feel a bit fragile, so it's probably best if you take it easy for a little while. I don't need to rest. I need to do something I should have done a long time ago. Talk to Sue Yin. We got to see Top Melon Lord. You're the first metal bending avatar. Interesting. And I'd like to try to learn metal bending. I mean, I'm I'm sure you have a waiting list or something, like a couple years, so let's get started. <laughs> I think Lynn is <laughs> you think? You're still a bitter loner who only cares about herself. No wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. Ugh. Okay, I guess this is how it's going to be. All right, come on, let's go. It's the battle of the Beifong sisters and Bolin and Cora. You got front row seats. I hope they don't hurt each other though. Should I stop them? <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. It's fine if they're fighting, but I hope they don't hurt each other. Like, seriously. My sculpture! <laughs> Actually, I am. You can tell from their fighting styles as well that uh, their personalities, you know, Lin's fighting style is way more aggressive, way more like a brute, whereas Sue is very like natural and flowy. You know what I mean? Like her personality. What are you two doing? Your sisters, why would you want to hurt each other? I, you know, they don't really, but they also kind of do. Ooh, good catch. I was like, her head, her head. Please, someone protect her head. Who's gonna knock? Oh, oh. no, 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 not me. <laughs> I can, but I just thought that you... I'll do it. Uh, Chief, you've been sleeping for 16 hours. She's not been sleeping. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, lovely. What's this? I call it the Kale Nutsko. He's all different. Eat the, the leaf too. <laughs> I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for you to train with the other airbender. I don't want to upset my mom. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was please my mother. I became a police chief because I thought it would make her happy, but it didn't. You need to make decisions based on what you want. Don't make the same mistakes. Mm, yeah. uh, lovely. Lynn is back. Can I talk to you? I thought we might get to see their parents again. La Toph's parent, her Opal grandparents. Happy. Mom gave us too much freedom, but I feel like I've made the mistake of giving Opal too little. I think it's time I let her choose her. <laughs> it's like a cycle. Toph had too little, so she gave her kids too much. So she had too much, so she gave her kids too little. Police chief, Republic City is lucky to have you. I know Mom is proud. Tough. I do need a co-director for my new dance performance. How about for now? I just promise not to show up at your house and attack you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm happy for them. I've got tears in my eyes. Oh, my goodness. Actually, do. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm glad they got back together. Something about where the avatar is hiding. He's with the Metal Clan. I am this guy. Nothing gets past him, does it? Oh, lovely. Nope. Watch next episode next time, not this time, alright? But if you guys want to see it now, you can on my Patreon.
it'll be there. That's where the videos go first, and they come over here. Full length reactions are there as well. Crack him out. Wow, that was a very interesting, a very nice, heartwarming, and wholesome episode, you know? With a bit of action as well. It had it all. It was good to see Sue and Lynn uh, get back together, sort their issues out, and move on. Um, now we have a little more background on what happened. So Lynn was very strict and professional and, you know, did her own thing. Very disciplined. And uh, she wanted to do things to make her mom happy. Her mom was the chief of police. That's why she's the chief of police, because her mom had to retire. And the reason behind that was Sue. Sue uh, was uh, kind of a criminal, but she was a child. Very similar to Kai. So it was a good story in that they're showing us Kai, who's this kid who is obviously, you know, he had had a rough upbringing. And because of that, he has had to adopt a lifestyle, which... Um, it's not that great, let's be honest, uh, but he can change just like Sue did. I mean, literally, if you meet her now, not knowing her past, you would think Lynn is the one in the wrong, you know, and, uh, it's quite the contrary. So judging a book by its cover, you've all done that. That's one, another message you can pick up from there as well. Um, I really like this episode. I really did. You know, uh, you have Bo Lynn now, who's going to be learning to how to metal bend. You have obviously Opal who's going to be going with them and learning to become a proper airbender. So yeah, this was great actually. Like it doesn't really progress the story in terms of the main uh, goal. So in a way it is kind of filler, but it's the kind of filler that I absolutely adore. Like honestly, I loved it. Um, you know, anything to explore the characters and develop them a bit more and, you know, understand them a bit more. I love it. I love it. It doesn't have to do anything with the main quest, really. I mean, in that sense, it actually did progress a little bit as well. They got Opal. I mean, that was the whole reason that we're here. They were looking for airbenders. So they got an airbender. So that's great. Also, but, you know, in terms of the queen and Zaheer and so on and so forth, they barely did anything. So that's why I'm saying it, it felt kind of like a filler. But I don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, I, I like, like I said, and I'm going to say it again, I absolutely love this episode. I thought it was perfect. You know, I thought the, like I said, the character development was brilliant for everyone, not just, you know, uh, Lynn and Sue, but also Cora and Marco and Bolin. You know, we saw so many different people um understand uh themselves better you know you had that moment with opal and bolin you then obviously had the moment with opal and her parents sue and lynn and so on and so forth the moment with cora there as well with um cora learning to metal bend you know so so much happened and it was just great i, I really enjoyed this episode i'm really looking forward to the next one if you are as well like i said you can see it right now it's available on my Patreon. Link in the description. Full length reaction is there on my Patreon as well. Uh, check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.